Well, we're looking forward to midweek racing in the Eastern Cape and uh, we'll be racing on Tuesday on the Poly Surface. And the Gavin Smith Racing Yard will look forward to starting in race one with a newcomer, Ice Cap. Now she'll be having her very first start locally and she relocates from the high felt. No, she's got fair form, she's nice, neat fully and um, doing fair work at home. I think she'll be competitive. Another newcomer in race two and that's James Fitzjames and he relocates from KZN. Naughty little guy, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he's quite cute and, uh, and he is picking it up now. He's yeah. still a little bit in the green side, but um, a nice little horse and also can be competitive. Take a mulligan in race three will enjoy pole position draw and he'll race alongside a fearless badger. Yeah, I think Take a mulligan's learned what it's all about, Nate, and uh, his poly run wasn't the greatest, but uh, I think now that he's sort of ran on the surface, got yes. pole position, he should give us a better run. And Fearless? Fearless, he's, he's knocking, Nate. Um, we made a mistake running him back in a mile because he just didn't enjoy the short trip. Uh, he's back over further now. I'd include back in the quartets. Moving to race four, turn the beat around was expected to need her run last time out of a lengthy break, and this will be her second run after that layoff. Yeah, there's always that second run off the layoff syndrome, but um, putting up good work at home, she has trimmed in the right places, and, and I do feel you can't leave out the back end of Cortez. Two runners in race five. He knows that was not his run last time out, definitely capable of better. He'll be joined by Sandbank, who's down in class. Yeah, I've got to agree with you, Nate. So he knows he, yeah, his run penultimate was good, and his last run, it just wasn't him. We were away slowly and drawn wide, and just it was one of those funny funny races where, you know, the early part they went flat out and he just couldn't get into it. Yeah. And Sandbank with the drop in class, I feel you've got to include him. Three runners in race six, and one of them is in the background. That's Adya. We'll touch on him shortly. But he will racing with Vegas Gold, um, who loves track and trip. Adya himself is freshened up. You can see he's looking nice and bright in the background. He was a, a very good winner last time out. And Tuscan Gold, well, he ran a fair race against Stronger in his last start. Yeah, agree with you. Tuscan taking on Stronger. Got a, a lot to top of weight this time. Um, back in the quartets. Adya. He loves a thousand as well, Nate's track and trip suits. Uh, he's got to be a runner. And uh, Vegas Gold, uh, that is his best track and trip. And, you know, he had to put the claim on to get him in the race. He had a lot of weight to carry, but um, all three of them are well at home. Four runners in race seven. We're going to start with Cabaret. She's another who races off a short break uh, that she was given after a very easy win where she showed well on Polly last time out. Hilda Lita with Donald Hertzen aboard once again while they teamed up to win a gutsy race last time out. Yeah, Cabaret. Um, she enjoys the poly. She's got a draw, and uh, I think Muzi will suit her. Um, I would include, and, and Hilda Lita. She won a good race with Donald up last time, and she enjoys a patient ride with not too much yeah. stick, so it worked out well for her. Isn't She Bonnie and Project Runway also line up in race seven, and both these fillies at this point look to be at best over a thousand metres. I couldn't agree with you more. Isn't She Bonnie last time we ran in the six? Yeah. just to get her acclimatised and she faded the last little bit. She's come on from that run, 1,000 metres. I feel she's a runner and Project Runway at the weights. She's got a nice lightweight, she's very speedy. 1,000 is her game. Three useful runners in the last of the day, which is race eight. Charlie Malone was a very good winner a week ago and he actually won as he liked, full of running. Miss Shivey may be up against male opposition, but she's in very competitive form and Cruzador's rating has fallen well. He's found form and he's holding it. Yeah, Cruz and Charlie both ran, um, you know, last week, but um, Nate's, they came through so well for what meets the eye. Um, they're both popping at home, eating yeah. and doing the thing. They're, they're not doing any work this week, just playing with them, and uh, I think they'll both yeah. be competitive. The type of field it was, and the sound they are, we decided to back them up again. And um, Miss Shavey, she, she had two very nice starts last time out, and she's got to be a runner, albeit taking on the boys, but she's doing well at home. Last is always a competitive race on the card and the yard have a strong hand in it.